Whoa. I think we're recording, yeah. Hmm. Pretty good, pretty good. Hello guys, and welcome to episode 63 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. This time around, I thought I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. I had a look at my YouTube statistics and uh, I'm dangerously low on female viewers. And uh, I'm gonna be a bit stereotypical here. So I'm gonna model something that the female kind might even enjoy. Because uh, when I released the line war video, it turns out that 0% are female. And let's make a change, shall we? So today I'm gonna to be modeling something by request. Actually, it was my wife that came up with this one and uh, my daughters thought it was pretty neat as well. So I'm not being that stereotypical because uh, they're actually female and uh, they wanted me to do this one. So I'm gonna do a Cinderella carrier. Carriage? Carriage return. What's it called? Carriage. Horse and carriage. There you go. So. I'm actually feeling a little bit uh, in touch with my feminine side today because I've got a headache. But I'm just going to have to work through that and uh, try my best anyway because tomorrow is Thursday and that's when this one premieres. I shouldn't be cracking these type of jokes actually. On the good note, uh, you'd be happy to find out that uh, when it comes to car accidents actually, females only account for about 32% of accidents I think. Still a surprisingly high number considering they don't really have a steering wheel on their side of the car. But nevertheless, it's pretty good anyway. You might be wondering what's going on with the monthly challenge. Did you participate by any chance in the first monthly challenge, which was to model a city block or even in the second month where we're ch challenging everyone to model transport vehicles of some sort. Don't worry, the results and video will be coming. I'm actually knee deep in rendering stuff right now. I've assembled the city and uh, I've distributed all the city blocks and I've animated a camera to fly through it. And I want to make sure that I give attention to each of the submitted blocks and give them a little comment and a review. And then I'm going to be picking five winners and be announcing those. And I've actually got my computers at home here now rendering that in animation. And surprise, it's about 50,000 frames or something. So it's taking some time. Please be patient, but the results will be coming. So subscribe if you haven't already and uh, make sure that you uh, check out that video when it comes. And then I'll have to move a little bit swifter with the vehicles. If you join the Infensia Discord server, the link is in the description, by the way, then you'll be able to use these assets as well. Maybe you want to put them in a game and uh, or maybe you want to create an animation. For example, ZTR created an awesome animation using uh, submissions entries from both the first and the second uh, monthly challenge. So we've got a lot of city blocks and also a lot of vehicles and he put together an awesome little uh, Infensia race city animation. I hope you don't mind ZTR. I've put in some of your clips here just to show what it's all about. But if you want to see this full video that he created, check out the link in the description as well. And I've linked to that video. So you should definitely check that one out. It's super cool, really well made. Participate in the monthly challenges and you'll be able to use these assets as well for your games and for animations or anything like that. So royalty free, of course. I also want to give a special shout out to One Dead Duck and Obel X. You're doing an amazing job by making sure the monthly submissions and everything like that is uh, flowing and you're assembling the scenes and helping out everything there. So I'm super, super thankful for your help and this would not be possible without you. So thumbs up to you guys. Thank you very much for your help. Cinderella carriage, here we go. Ready, steady, go. I'm rough. So I'm gonna hide the default cube because I wanna use uh, Shift A and add a an UV sphere here instead. Let's do eight segments and eight rings. And then tab it into edit mode, scale it up, bring it up. That's it. X to remove only edges. Uh, oh no, only faces I wanna remove. And then Alt Z to see through, two for edge select. And then I'll manually select these. I'm gonna get rid of these for now. Just wanna have uh, the vertical ones. Oop, not that one. B for box select. I don't know why I press B because if you just drag it, it becomes box select X and then remove those edges. Tab and then add a modifier here. We'll do the skin modifier. Tab into edit mode. A to select everything. Control A. That scales these uh, modif the, um, for the skinning here. So that should do. Maybe we'll also rotate this because I want to have the, the side facing maybe like this. That should do. Alt Z to see through again. Oh. Here's something broken. Let's apply this one. Control A, tab into edit mode. Got some funky stuff. Got twist here. Let's just fix that. Alt select there, delete faces. And then I'll just Alt and Shift select those. Right click and do, let's see, bridge edge loops. 
repaired. Now I'm going to show the cube again, and I'm going to steal the materials. Select this one, shift select this one, control L, do materials, and then tab back here, A, select everything, reset the UVs, scale it down. Let's get, uh, oh, scale zero, what am I doing? Let's get like the, a pink blue here, so eight, what have we got on the clock? 816. Hide this one again. So that's going to be the, like the shape of the actual carriage itself. So tab into the mode A, scale, and bring up. Okay, let's add some uh, loop around here now as well. So shift A, mesh circle. And sh uh, let's see, we'll do tab into edit mode on that one. E to extrude all the vertices here. And then I'll just do... Alt select here for loop, Alt E, extra long face normals. That should do. Maybe scale this one up, bring it up. I'm gonna make some sort of a scale Z. Let's make it a little bit thinner. I'll just select that on Alt S to scale. That's it. I wanna make uh, some feature here. So I'll select this one, Shift select that one, Control L, bring the material across, A select everything, UVs, reset, A scale zero on the left, G move that one to blue as well. And then let's make it a little bit different here. So if I Alt and uh, select these here, Alt Shift select the ones in between here. Alt Shift select, I think one more there. And now I should be able to press O to go for proportional and G and Z, lock it on the Z. And then we'll just do some sort of a nice pattern here for the frame here. And then A to select everything, Alt S. Oh, Alt S. Okay, what am I doing? Alt S, S to scale it. Okay, Control A, apply the scale. That's it. And we, do you know what? Let's prove. I'll go out of my low poly comfort zone. Control two to do subdivide on that one. And uh, should we do on this one as well? Yeah, we'll do on this one. Control two subdivide that one. Then we can go. Let's go away from low poly today. Tab, <laughs> face, and then do shade smooth. There we go. This one is slightly wonky still, but maybe we can actually do F three two sphere on this one. At least it'll make it a little bit. Did I do? No. A. Two sphere. Does that not work? F3. Two sphere. Okay. Nothing is happening. Never mind then. Let's leave it like this. Okay. Uh, wasting time at 544. So let's, let's do uh, Shift D. Duplicate that one. Or should I be in edit mode here? No. I'll do Shift D. Scale that one down. Shift the all the Cinderella fans now go. This is not a Cinderella car. My kids are gonna probably be my two girls. My my son. I doubt that he'll be very interested in this one. So I'm not being stereotypical here. I'm just being honest. So here we go. Uh, let's go bring the cube back. Shift right click there. Shift A. Let's do another uh, mesh and we'll do a. Sp uh, should we do a cylinder? We'll do. And I have to do uh, the. Let's see, auto mirror. Oh, I'm minimizing it. There we go. Let's disable clipping, tab into the. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I'm rotating it the wrong way. Okay, what am I doing? Let's shift tab into edit mode. Okay. I have to cancel out of this. I don't want to subdivide it yet, or I don't want to mirror it yet. Shift. Oh, there. Scale Z, shrink it. Four minutes. Rotate, hold the control key, or we'll just do 90. There we go. And then uh, let's cheat a little bit here. Alt select there, Alt E, extrude long face normals. Select these two, delete faces. Select, right click, and do bridge edge loops. There we go. And this is going to be the wheel, so I'll have to bring the material across again. Shift, select this one, Control L, Materials, Tab A, UV, Reset A, Scale 0, G. And here, let's do Shift, select that one, Shift G, and do Perimeter. Does that work? Yeah. And F3, Checker, Deselect. I to Inset. 
comma, let's do normal period and do individual origins. Alt E, extra long face normals. Let's do some Alt E, extra long face normals. Est okay, O proportional off, scale. Alt E, extra long face normals. S to scale, Alt E, extrude long face normals, S to scale, E to extrude. Oh, I can just do E to extrude. Okay, that should do. Uh, three minutes to go. S to scale that on. Alt E, extrude long face normals, S to scale. Okay, let's just do it like that. And if I select this one, I need to add another. If I select all of this, maybe L. Right click, no, Shift S, cursor to selected. Shift A, let's add another uh, cylinder there. Scale, scale Y, scale, uh, let's see, comma, I'm gonna do global, rotate Y 90, scale it down, and we're gonna have to keep this one simple, 232, okay. So, item set, E to extrude. And here we have to just, sorry for this, guys. Uh, item set E to extrude. Okay, that's gonna be the wheel. <laughs> uh, the real wheel, A to, oh, like, I can't even speak now, modifier. I'm gonna get stressed again, aren't I? So, tab G to move this one to here. Let's bring that one in. Okay, we need to, this is one thick axle. Oh yeah, we need to enable uh, clipping. Oh, clipping is on, that's good. There we go. A, select everything, G, okay. Oh. All right, Shift D, duplicate that one. I'm just gonna have to make, do something. I've got two minutes to, to just salvage something here. So maybe we'll grab this one. Shift D to duplicate it, bring it up. L to select the link, to, let's just delete this one out. Faces, G, blue. Oh, that's a wrong blue, G. Not that I care. So that's the wrong blue too, but I don't have time to fix it. So one minute to go. Okay, let's just wing it. E to extrude. E to extrude. E Someone's gonna go nuts about this color, aren't I? Aren't they? Maybe I can fix it after. I got cheating. Rotate. E to extrude. R to rotate. E to extrude. S. S to scale. Oh, what am I doing? Control R, no, Control R, E to extrude. Oh, the, I need some sort of a seat here. I guess they sit here to control. Oh, that's too far. E, he went too far. No. S scale Y, I've got 42 seconds. They need to build sit back here as well. E to extrude, here's some sort of a trunk thing. I'm sure they need to the transport thing. That's one bulky thing. That's not a Cinderella-like thing, is it? That looks hideous. Okay, but they need a seat as well. E to extrude. Uh, control R, maybe, E to extrude. I have no idea how I'm, I'm gonna fix this. Uh, 23 seconds, rotate X, E to extrude. S to scale, that's too thick. E to extrude, that's too thick as well. And control R, ah, control R, let's just do, I don't want, I'm falling out here. Scale X, six seconds to go. Maybe an armrest as well, control R, control R. Ah, okay, no armrest. Okay, there you go. Cinderella cart. <laughs> okay, so I just lost touch with my feminine side again. This is, uh... so <laughs> I went, I went to subdivision here and uh, made it a little bit neat with some wavy features, uh, smooth and nice, and then just threw it all in the bin and decided to go low poly for remaining. But hey, Maybe we can do uh, some bonus material for a change. All right, so let's uh, do some stuff in the post here. Maybe uh, a good thing to do, uh, like an exercise now. Uh, we could subdivide this, uh, maybe control two for this one as well. Make the wheels a little bit neater. And do you know what? We could even subdivide this thing, I think. But first, let's just add a, a few more features. So in the bonus material now, we're doing the normal thing now. I'm gonna stray off my normal routine here. And let's do some cheating. There's gonna be an, like an armrest. Again, not very... Uh, it, this is uh, very bulky for uh, for something so nice as a horse and carriage thing. But what I was thinking, maybe we can do some like Narnia type of uh, fancy features on it. So let's say we have... Uh, 
a carriage like this. And then, and I did not model this one off a blueprint. I did search for an image to see Cinderella. I think I saw something like in Central Park or something. So there was something that looked vaguely similar to this, but probably very different, a little bit more neatly designed. But if I do this, E to extrude, this could be some sort of a step thing, probably. E to extrude that one, and then just do E to extrude. S to skip, or no, R rotate Y axis. It's good if I could see, wasn't it? Rotate Y, and E to extrude that one. And then we need some sort of a, oh, I've got no mirror modifier on here. Now I do, good. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so in the front here as well, I guess they could have an armrest. Control R, E to extrude there. And then here, let's do some design feature here. E to extrude. E to extrude that on S to scale. Now, I was thinking I could... Uh, oh, they need protection here as well from the... When the... When the... I think it's... Is that from... What is the protection from? Like the horse manure or something. Rotate. Rotate. So they needed something to pull this forward with as well. So let's just uh, do the normal thing. We'll steal a face here. That one will do. S Shift D to duplicate it. Scale it down. Move it down. I'm not too worried about the axle not being attached to anything. Because it's uh, not going to be seen so much anyway. Scale. Could be just like that. I'm not doing horses either, by the way. So, I've been saying about uh, this for a while, but let's try now to... Let's see. Rotate G. I'm going to subdivide this. Control 2. And then, before we apply this one, I'm going to do... Uh, here. Tab into edit mode. Control R. Edit here. Make this one a bit thicker again. And here as well. So here's the nice thing, you probably know this already, but you can have the modifier and edit the low poly mesh with the subdivider on. So then uh, you don't break it, so I'll E to extrude that one. Maybe we'll bring this one up. And what I was going to do here is uh, create some just control R, divide that on. G. I was thinking we could make it a little bit more interesting shapes. G to move that on. G. Maybe we can even rotate that on. Oh, let's see. We've got the mouse wheel here. Oh, I've not got proportional. Rotate. Like this, maybe. But it's important to have the proportional on if you want to show how to do it with the proportional. Here. That looks a bit strange, so let's use the mouse, mouse wheel. This one could be a little bit narrow because this is just for the guy who drives it, isn't it? Or a girl. Here we go. Hope everyone feels included now. So, G, rotate. G, there we go, that's the step. And should we do some uh, control R? Loop, oop, control R, loop cut there. Let's get this one up a little bit higher. So shift select those, E to extrude. There you go. And we should also probably cover this a little bit. So I can shift select a few of those, G to move them. So proportional now, just wanna cover some of that geometry there. Okay, this one could be a little bit thicker, I guess. G. And. I, I'm sorry if this looks hideous, by the way. This might be totally weird and stupid. I'm just realizing that, but. It looks like a fall guy arm or something. <laughs> okay, maybe I should do a little bit less. Like that. <laughs> G. Let's move this back in.
Okay. Should we do something else? Uh, should we put some uh, intricate features on it here? E to extrude SD scale. I'm probably gonna wreck it even more now, but never mind. Gee. And let's do some stuff here as well. Some fancy E to extrude arch rotate. Scale it down a lot. Just wanna make some small. Maybe we can twirl some E to extrude arch rotate. Some, uh, like I said, some Narnia style fancy features. So maybe we'll do here as well. E to extrude. That's the scale. So I've got proportional on still here. Oop. Rotate. E to extrude. That's the scale. R to rotate. Scale. E to extrude. That's the scale. R to rotate. And should we do something? I don't know. Does that look weird? Strange? Stupid? I don't know. Control R. E to extrude that on. No. E to extrude there, maybe. E to extrude. S to scale. R to rotate. E to extrude. S to scale. Let's go with the fantasy stuff here. Control plus, scale it down. Control minus, shrink that one down. E to extrude, S to scale. So I should have uh, added this one for the vehicle uh, competition <laughs> for a challenge. Maybe not. <laughs> should we take away, I've, I've got flat shading on, so let's go to face and do shade smooth there as well. Should probably be like this. And maybe E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate, E to extrude, S to scale, rotate, oop, scale, E to extrude, S to scale, all right, maybe it would have been, uh, that someone's going to kill themselves on this one, it's like way too sharp here. G. Okay, use with caution. That could be slightly potential if you like get slightly caught there when you look over. Let's look at, look over your shoulder and go ah ah. Not not so good. So be careful if you're gonna ride this thing. And that doesn't look so comfortable, does it? Let's sharpen the seat down a little bit. Should we scoop it out as well? Some extra comfort there. You could put uh, Shift D, duplicate that one, E to extrude it, L to select the length, go G, and there you go. Now you've got a cushion to sit on. That'd be nice. The only brown thing on something like this. All right, and maybe you could do something different here as well. L to select the length there, or no, let's select this whole thing. No, L to select the length apparently. Uh, Shift D. Rotate. I wonder if you could do like this as well, maybe. Let's see, side view. All right. Do you know what? I'm going to throw this on the thumbnail and flip everyone out because they'll think, how did he manage to do this in 10 minutes? But do you know what? <laughs> this guy is helping me out now. Because I can cheat a little bit nowadays. I feel that I'm taking liberties now. I've asked if I should continue the 10 minute mulling challenge, and I am. But I'm spicing it up a little bit by adding some extra content here. And then uh, I'm going to take the liberty to change my thumbnail. And then just include this one. I'm going to step up the game clickbait style. Maybe. A little cushion here as well for the person who uh, drives this thing. You call it a driver? What's, a, what's the person called that drives a horse and carriage? There we go, a little cushion. Should do a hatch here. I to inset. B for boundary, remember? And then I to inset again, maybe? And E to extrude. I to inset. And E to extrude. There you go, looks like a hatch. 
and maybe a little bit less sharp there in the front. Should we put some design feature on this one? Control R, Control R, Control R, Control R, Alt Select, and Oh, I've got proportional scale. Alt S. Why is it so sharp? Control R? Let's loop cut it again then. If that's what it's going to be like. S to scale this one. Alt S. There you go. I guess I think yeah, I'm going to end it here, should I? Should we do something here. Control R. E to extrude. Rotate. E to extrude. I'm bound to do something now that to totally wrecks this whole thing. Control plus G. The driver needs to be able to poke himself on something too, I think. E to extrude, S to scale, R, oh, R to rotate, E to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate. Should we do one more here? E. It's starting to look like flames now, like on a hot rod or something. Remember, feminine side, I need to keep in touch with my feminine side. But this could be like um, elements of fire and ice. E to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate. All right, I have no idea what I'm doing yet. <laughs> this, I put this on the thumbnail. How long have I spent on this one? Another 20 minutes on it. Control R, one more loop cut. Oop, control R. There you go. All right, let's call this one finished.
All right, guys, I think I went... Oh, sorry, girls. <laughs> I think I went a little bit overboard there. I just kept twirling and I put some uh, hearts in there for good measure as well. One in the front and one in the back. Made it a little bit wider to make sure two people can sit on it. Twirl these a little bit more, change the color slightly. And uh, everything else is pretty much the same. So see what you can do in 10 minutes, people. Just give it a try. 10 minutes, that's all you need. Plus a little tinkering time. <laughs> All right, I hope you liked this video, and uh, if you did, uh, please come back next Thursday for another 10-minute video. We're gonna have episode 64, a nice round computer number there for you. I love uh, anything like 8, 16, 32, 64, so we're gonna celebrate that a little bit extra special. And uh, until then, take care and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the like button if you like this video, if you're still here. Oh, it's the same color. Nice. Celebrate that one.